Hey there, I'm Billy. I know that so far you've learned a lot of great things about food and nutrition. So let me tell you what I'm here to talk to you about. One of my favorite things, snacks. Now, snacking is fun and it can be good for our bodies, but it's not always easy to snack and cut back on foods that are high in fat, added sugar, and calories. You know, we're busy with school, sports, activities, friends. We eat on the run. And temptations to make other choices are all around us. But never fear, I'm here to tell you about some awesome ways to reduce fat and added sugar in your snacks. It's like this. Uh, let's say you come home from school and you're hungry for a snack. You hit the kitchen and you grab a big bag of chips. You're thirsty, so you grab a 20 ounce bottle of soda. Now you plop down and chill. The next thing you know, you finished it all. You've just consumed a lot of fat and added sugar, and practically nothing your body needs to grow and be strong. But how about if we rewind that scene? And now, instead of the chips, you grab some unsweetened whole grain cereal. Or you hit the fridge and grab some grapes or crunchy baby carrots. You wash it all down with a nice glass of fat-free or low-fat milk, or you grab a bottle of water. All of a sudden, you've got a pretty great snack. Snacks like these can be just as quick as the chips and the soda, but they have a lot of the good stuff your body needs. And they taste great, too. Now, no one's saying you can never have sugary or fatty snacks. If you do have them, just have them in smaller amounts. Here's what I mean. You and a friend are at the movies. The first thing you do is you hit the concession stand. And you each order a large buttered popcorn, a large soda, and a candy bar. Whoa! Maybe that's not such a good idea. How about instead of jumbo sizing, you downsize. I'm talking small plain popcorn, a bottle of water, and maybe a candy bar that you split with your friend. Now you've just done yourself a huge favor. You've cut back on the fat, added sugar, and calories, plus you still enjoyed your snack. Now, you're not gonna have a candy bar as a snack every day. Think of it as a special treat that you have only every once in a while. You see, it's all about the choices you make. First, focus on nutritious foods and drinks. Then, eat smaller amounts of the foods you know are high in fat, added sugar, and calories, and eat them less often. Trust me. Your body will thank you for it. And cut. Okay, great. Let's try that again. Another apple, please. Whoa, there we go.